I'm Kathy, the Clumsy Soaper. Today, I would like to share with you the making of transparent soap base made from scratch. The ingredients that we need today are coconut oil, sodium hydroxide, glycerin, propylene glycol, water, and sorbitol. Everything is ready, so let's get started! There are so many recipes available online, but for me, I just used one oil, which is coconut oil, and I used 50% sodium hydroxide. If you want to make your soap base or transparent soap harder, you can add stearic acid. And for my transparent soap base, I don't use alcohol. I didn't use ethanol or isopropyl alcohol to dissolve. I would normally make my recipe as simple and as plain as it can be. As you can see, I've already added 50% sodium hydroxide into the coconut oil. I stirred it for a while to emulsify and then I used a stick blender until trace. Okay, so I set the crock pot at a high setting but you have to make sure that you keep the temperature below 65 degrees Celsius. If you really cannot control the temperature, 75 degrees Celsius is still allowable but you just have to keep in mind that the higher the temperature, um, the color of your soap base will have a darker yellowish tone even go brownish if you overcook before i continue i'd like to thank you for joining me again this week if you are new here in my channel please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification icon to keep you posted of my soap making videos diy tutorials and a lot more Just like you, soap making is my passion so I would really appreciate if you can join me in my soap making journey so we could learn and grow together. Soap is already formed. As you can see, it's already dry. I've added glycerin and stir it a bit. After 10 minutes, I've added propylene glycol. So at this point, you have to make sure that you have to control the temperature properly and you also have to check the pH. The pH now is at 9. I've done this a couple of times before and the pH of the Final output normally would range from pH 7 to pH 9. I try to control the pH and make sure that the final soap base um, has a pH of below 9. Let me know if you are interested to watch the video on how I test my soap so that I can share with you the pH of the transparent soap base, uh, the bubble, the hardness and the moisture if you're interested to watch that please let me know and i'll try my best to edit the video so that i can share that to you next week and down here as you can see i've already added sorbitol solution so basically what i did is to dissolve sorbitol powder into our water a while ago, we said that we need to control the temperature and 75 is still okay. But when you add sorbitol solution already, try to heat a temperature uh, uh, that is below 70 degrees Celsius already. So that the color of the soap will be really nice and clear.
patience is the key just keep the temperature low and stir it from time to time and then you will observe that all the floating white soap is starting to dissolve back into the solution just keep on going and keep the temperature as low as we can i keep on highlighting that because i wouldn't want you to be frustrated at the end when um, the color of the soap is not as clear as you expected It looks to me that our transparent soap is almost ready. Just give it a good stir just to make sure. When the consistency becomes viscous and there is no floating white soap on top, uh, it means that our transparent soap base is ready and we are ready to pour this into our molds. Our temperature now is 62.5 and as you can see that our transparent soap is really clear and nice. Let me just transfer this into a container with a pouch so that you can see how clear it is and when I pour it into the cavities of the soap mold, I can avoid spillage. After pouring the transparent soap into the mold cavity, I sprayed the soap with alcohol to pop the bubbles. Then after a few hours, we are ready to unmold the soap. Here is the leftover. But this one is so thin actually. Okay, so I'm so happy with the outcome. Uh, it is really nice and, st and transparent and, and I'm using a free book from the McDonald's Happy Meal. <laughs> Up to now, I still buy Happy Meal because of the pancake and whatever free stuff. Okay. I know. I'm still a child at heart. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, the small one. 
And I have three bars of soap. These are hard bars. And I can still read what is written in the book. So I hope that you enjoyed our video today. And if you just did, please remember to hit the like button. Uh, and then leave a comment below if you enjoyed our video today. And thank you for joining me again. If you are new here, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep you posted of my latest soap making video, DIY tutorial, and a lot more. Thank you so much, Soap Sisters and Bubble Brothers. Thank you for joining me this week and I'll see you again next week. I hope that you enjoyed our video. Happy birthday to those who are celebrating their birthdays this month. God bless!